Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this log cabin granny square blanket. Now the first eight rows are the setup rows. Once those first eight rows are out of the way it is simply a four row repeat. It grows very very quickly and before you know it you too can have a massive great big blanket like I have. If you know how to make a granny square or you have tried a mitered granny square in the past, then this blanket will be an absolute breeze for you. I definitely advise knowing how to crochet a granny square at the very least before tackling this, but don't let that put you off. I'm fairly sure that even an advanced beginner or just an adventurous beginner can tackle this. I will talk you through step by step the first 12 rows of this blanket, and then I will do a recap of the four row repeat on top. So grab a cuppa, grab your hooks, grab your yarn. This is gonna be a long one. Let's jump straight on in. To begin, pop a slip knot onto your hook. Then chain five. Join with a slip stitch to that very first chain you made to form a ring. Chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. Then work two more double crochets into the ring. That's one, and that's two. Chain two, and work three more double crochets back into the ring. Don't pull this ring tight. We need this. We're going to be working back into it later on. For row two, chain three and turn. We're going to work into this chain two space here and we're going to form a corner. And our corners will consist of three double crochets chain two and three double crochets back into the same spot. That forms our corner. Then work one double crochet into this very last stitch, which will be the top of the turning chain from the row below. So work one double crochet into the top of that stitch. For row three, chain three and turn. Just flip your work back. Work two double crochets into this initial first space here. Then work a corner into the corner chain two space. So your corner is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into that same spot. Then into this end space, right at the very end, work three double crochet stitches. For row four, chain three and turn.
Now working into these side spaces here, work three double crochet to form a granny cluster. So we're going to work a granny cluster. We're forming the side. And then leap immediately into a corner into this chain two space here, which is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into the same space. These first few rounds, these first few rows as we build your granny, are very much trust the process. <laughs> Just trust the process. It all becomes clear in a little bit, I promise. Work a granny cluster of three double crochets into the next space in between your sets of grannies from the row below. So forming another little side here. Three double crochets. And then to end, we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of the chain three from the row below but I'm also going to change color. We want to change color every four rows. So to change color, I'm going to start my double crochet. So working into the top of the chain three. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. And then when I have two loops left on my hook, at that point, I'm going to drop the color I'm currently working with and bring in my new color. I'm going to put the new color over my hook and draw it through those two loops to complete the stitch. You can now cut the white and we're going to be working the next four rows with purple. So we're going to chain three and turn our work. Work two double crochets into this space right at the very end here. And then work a side cluster, so three double crochets into the side space. Then we're at the corner which means three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into that same spot. Three double crochet along the side, so into this space here. Three double crochet, as I say, trust the process. <laughs> It will become a much more clear later on once we get these initial eight setup rows out of the way. And then to end this row, row number five, work three double crochet into this end space. Chain three and turn. Now we're going to work three double crochet into the next two side spaces until we get over to the corner. So three double crochet, three double crochet. Then when we hit the chain two space of the corner, work another corner. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into that same corner space. Work three double crochet into each of these two side spaces.
and then end with a double crochet into the top of the chain three and the row below. So we're just ending in one stitch. Chain three and turn. And work two double crochets into this end space. Then work three double crochets, so a granny cluster, into each of these side spaces until you hit the corner chain two space. So two of those, just three double crochet in each. And then once you hit the corner chain two space, Work a new corner, which is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into the same space. Then we're going to work granny clusters into the side spaces along. So three double crochet into these side spaces. And then end with three double crochet into this very outer space right on the edge. For row eight, row eight is the last of the setup rows. From that point on, the log cabin fun <laughs> begins. So chain three, turn, and work three double crochets into these side spaces all the way along. So one, two, three. Three double crochet in each. Then when you're over at the chain two corner space, you know what to do, work a new corner. So three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet all into that same corner space. Now we're working along the last side here. So we have three sections to work into put three double crochet in each and then to end this final setup row row eight we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of the chain three from the row below. So that very last stitch. And we're also going to change color again. So you want to be changing color every four rows. So work into the top of that turning chain. We're going to start our stitch, yarn over, pull through two. Then I can drop this dark purple and bring in my next color which is going to be a very bright yellow, so you can clearly see where I'm placing my stitches. Finish off the stitch with that new colour, cut the old. And that is the first eight setup rows for this Log Cabin Granny complete. From this point on, we're going to be working on a four row repeat, and we're going to be turning and working in L-shaped sections to grow your blanket by an extra four rows each time. So row nine is the start of the four row pattern repeat. I'm going to walk you through these next four rows and then we will do a recap 
of them with my next color but I will speed that one up a lot more because you won't need to sit through all of it because by the time you get there you'll know what you're doing on this back and forth. So row nine is the start of the four row pattern repeat. You're going to chain three but instead of turning your work this way you're going to turn your work this way. I get all my ends out of the way. We're turning that way. So a 90 degrees turn clockwise. So rotate your work. So now we're going to be working along this raw edge back and forth. So we need to work two double crochets and we're going to work them into this space and around the last purple stitch that we just did. We're going to work into the space and therefore over that stitch. So work two double crochets. Oops, hang on, let me move my tail out of the way so I don't catch that one. We put these two tails off to the side. Two double crochets into that side space. then leap right into the next space. So skip a row. You'll see there's no spaces at the end of this row. It's just three double crochets. You're going to leap into the next clear, obvious space, skip a row, and into the next one, work three double crochet stitches. Same again, skip a row. There's nothing visible at the end here because it's three stitches. You want to leap to the next space, which only has one stitch. And into this next space, it's quite an obvious hole here. I'm trying to move my tails out of the way. Put three double crochets straight in there. So working around the white. And again, leap to the next obvious space, the next hole, which will be skipping a row and move down one, three double crochets. Then you will hit that very first chain loop where we started right in the beginning. Now that is a corner on this side that we've been working on. You see this corner flaring down. We're going to place a corner into this little ring here. Now the corner, just as before, three double crochet. Chain two and three double crochet back into that same spot. Now working back up the other side into these side holes, we're going to work three double crochets. Moving on into the purple again, into those side spaces. It will be really obvious where the side spaces are because you can feel them. And then end with three double crochet into this very last space from row eight. So three double crochet. Now my cream yarn is a bit thicker than this yellow yarn, so let me just pull it out a little bit. 
So you can see we started rows one to eight, working back and forth. Now we have rotated the work and we're going to be working back and forth on this side. So that was row nine for row 10, which is the second of the pattern repeat rows. Chain three and turn your work. And we're going to be working back along this yellow. Work three double crochets into the spaces in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below to all these side spaces. Just leap straight in three double crochet. So you'll keep crocheting into these spaces in between your sets of three double crochets from the row below until you hit your chain two corner. And in that chain two corner space, you're going to make a new corner, which is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into the same space. So form a new corner in that chain two corner space. Then work three double crochet in between your sets of three double crochet all the way along the side. Keep going all the way. And then to end this row, end with one double crochet into the top of that chain three turning chain from the row below. For row 11, which is the third of these pattern repeat rows, chain three, turn, and work two double crochet into this immediate space right next to where you are. And then again, work three double crochet all the way along the side into these side spaces. Once you hit your corner chain two space, create a new corner, with three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all into that same spot. And then work three double crochet into each of these side spaces in between your sets of three double crochet from the row below, just like on a granny square. Once you reach this very end space, 
work three double crochet just into that very end space to end row 11. For row 12, row 12 is the fourth of these four row repeats. It's quite a mouthful. We're going to start with a chain three. You're going to turn your work and work granny clusters into every side space along until you hit your chain two corner space. So just leap straight into working three double crochets in between the sets of three double crochet from the row below. And then when you hit your chain two space for the corner, form a new corner with three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Now we're going to work just as you have been doing with three double crochet, in between the sets of three double crochets from the row below. And then once you have finished your final three over here, meet me and I'll show you how we end row 12. So I'm just finishing up my last three double crochet from row 12. And to end row 12, we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of that chain three turning chain for the row below, and we're going to change color. So I'm going to half complete my last double crochet, cut off my yellow yarn, Always leave a decent long tail for weaving in. I'm going to bring in my next colour, which in this case is green, and finish off my double crochet stitch. Now, rotate your work 90 degrees clockwise. chain three and we are going to repeat exactly what we did on these yellow rows only this time we're now working across yellow and purple i'm going to raise my camera up slightly so i'm already starting to get out of shot <laughs> so bear with me two ticks so we are going to be repeating rows 9 10 11 12 working back and forth along this next edge. So every time you finish this fourth row and you join in your new color into chain three, rotate your work 90 degrees clockwise. And we're going to do exactly what we did again. I will do a really quick recap of the start and end of the rows and I will speed up all the footage of doing the middle bits because by now you're going to know what you're doing. So to start the recap of the first of these four row pattern repeats, you've changed colour, you've chained three, you've rotated 90 degrees, work two double crochets into this first space immediately next to where you have just changed colour 
that's one, that's two. Now work three double crochets into every side space all the way along. When you reach your chain two corner space, work a new corner, which is three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Then work three double crochets into every space along the side and meet me at the end where we can recap how you finish the first of these four row repeats. So I am reaching the end of this first of the four row repeats. You can see I've worked into every side space up and to end, you're going to end with three double crochets into this very last chain space. And then to begin this second row, chain three, turn your work, and again work three double crochets into each of these side spaces along the side, work a corner into your chain two corner space, and then come back down and meet me here in just a moment where I'll show you how to finish the second row of these four row repeats. It would help if I kept my yarn on my hook when I was talking to you. All right, so it's a chain three, turn, double crochet, granny clusters into each of the sides, a corner, and then granny clusters coming back down the other side. Right, I've brought in a pale pink background. I'm not sure if that's actually easier for you to see or not. It's very hard for me to tell through the screen of a camera whether or not you can see what I can see. So I've just switched out the background just in case. And I'm going to carry on with this second of the four row repeats. So to end this second row, once you have finished all your side clusters, we're going to end with one double crochet into the top of that chain three turning chain for the row below. Then for the third, third of your four row repeats, chain three, turn, and work two double crochet immediately into that space right there. It's right, right next to where you've just chained from. You can't miss it. Pop two double crochet in there. And then just as before, double crochet into each of these side spaces, corner in the corner, and then back down the other side. So we're just working in an L shape back and forth.
Then to end this third pattern repeat row, work three double crochet into this very end space. Oopsie doopsie. I'm rushing. <laughs> For the fourth and final row of these four row repeats, you're going to start with a chain three, turn your work and work as you have been. Granny clusters into your side spaces and a corner, then granny clusters into all these side spaces. Then meet me over here to finish this fourth row repeat and for a recap of how to move on to do the next set of four repeats. So just leap straight into your granny clusters. So I'm just finishing up my last side cluster here and then to end this fourth row of the repeat rows we're going to end with a double crochet into the top of that turning chain from the row below and change colour at the same time. So I'm going to start my double crochet stitch. I'm going to stop on those last two loops, cut off my yarn Bring in my next colour, finish my double crochet stitch with that new colour. Then, let me just get these tails hidden out of the way. To start again, to start your next four rows, you are going to take your work and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise and then work along the next two rows. So at that point, you would begin again, chain three, and start these four rows all over again, working along these next two sides. Once you have done those and you have done your four rows, again, you would then change color and rotate your work 90 degrees clockwise and begin again. So you're building in L shapes back and forth and you keep going with these four rows until your blanket is the size that you want it to be. Now, once your blanket is the full size that you want it to be, to finish your work, you wouldn't need to be changing color. So let me just put this last stitch back on. This is the very last stitch of my entire blanket. I'm gonna finish my double crochet as normal, then chain one, then cut your yarn, pull that through, pull it tight, and then your whole blanket is complete. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please do give me a big thumbs up. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.